Well, that is correct, Liesl. Now, last week, Kat had his chance of learning to uh, knit here on Expresso. Now it is my turn. And with us, we have Roseanne Douglas from the Wool Boutique in Fishwick with us to show me your thing or two. Roseanne, welcome back to Expresso. Nice to have you. Good morning. Good. So, so before we start knitting, as we were saying, we're going to do a little baby wear this morning, yes. you know, because Kia had her little baby. Yes, I have my right. little one on the way. Very exciting. It was World Knit in Public Day this Saturday. That's right. What was that all about? Well, World Knit in Public Day is usually falls around the uh, middle of June every year, and people get together to knit on various projects. It's usually for charities, and uh, we were invaded by about 20 ladies in our shop. <laughs> we were invaded. <laughs> well, it, our shop is quite small, yeah. so when you have 20 ladies in there, it, it, it sort of heaves a yeah. little bit. Oh, but it sounds like a lot of fun, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. and one of the things that the, the, one of the ladies brought was this. What Sheesh. she has done is she's made a huge ball yeah. uh, in the colours of the flag. And the whole idea is that various people are going to knit a yeah. row and then it gets passed on to the next person. I've brought it in here and we had people knitting on this in the back. That is fantastic. Well. That yeah. is the biggest pair of knitting needles I've seen and in my life. When the ball <laughs> is finished, which is a huge ball. Let's see um, that ball. Let's see yes. that quickly. Whew. Wow. Uh, when, it, when it's finished, uh, the person that finishes it will cast it off and give it to a homeless person or somebody else in need. What a cool idea. Very, very cool idea. And I'm the whole idea is that you'll be able to follow the progress of the blanket. Yeah. What does it say community. there? Community. Community.wordpress.com. Com. Yeah. Very, very cool. All right. So that I love. was. One of the d ladies had that idea, which oh I thought was rather fun. That is rather fun, and I see you must have some mad knitting skills to be handling <laughs> those big knitting needles. All right, so today let's get down to it. Um, little baby girl was born, Kia's baby girl, yes. Olga Ferial Kim. Beautiful, beautiful baby girl, and she's healthy, and I have my way on the, uh, my little one on the way. So, uh, you know, I thought it good to maybe just learn a little bit of knitting skills, you know, maybe yeah. make a beanie or something like this. So yeah. show us, how, what do we need to know about this? This is a very special type of stitch, right? That is stocking stitch. Okay. But just before we get on to that, last time I was here, we were knitting on this piece. Yes. And all we did is we sewed it up and put a little strap oh, on. Sweet. And there you have a little hat. That's very sweet. So oh. that's the simplest one to do. Yes. Then I've we've done a little thing for Olga. Oh, look at that little, little Olga. Little booties Beautiful. And, a, and a little top. Oh. And the beanie. This is kind of the simplest of beanies. Yes. And basically, it's all in stocking stitch, That's cast it. on, um, I think it was 79 yeah. stitches. That's it. So just for those people, you can see Olga there on your screen right now. Beautiful, and you, yes. you knit that, you know, you knit the, the body of it, and yes. then you have to cast off, um, well, decrease around the top to give it the crown. And all that right. really is one of the simplest ones to do. But it looks very cute. It looks I love it how it just curls up at the bottom like yes. that. Ah, lovely. Okay, so... This one, just a, a, a variation on a theme. Yeah. Uh, this one's got ear flaps. Ear flaps. Ah, perfect for those winter months. All right. And then... So this is all that's all done with that that the very cool stocking stitch stocking that I can recognize stitch. right now, right yes. there. Very, very cool. Okay, so just quickly show me how to do okay. that stitch. What you're going to do is you take the needle from the back yeah. through the front loop and you put your wool around the needle. Okay. From the front to the back and pull it through. I'm always getting nervous now because this is really this difficult. This is where you take over. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go there. From the back to the front. Right. No, from the back to the front. Did I do it right? No. No. Okay. From the back to the front. Front. Okay. Yes. And then? The yarn over that needle. Which way? That way around? No, the other way around. That way around. Between. Yes. Okay. And then? And then you pull it through. Through there? Yeah. And you pull the stitch off of that needle. Oh, there you are. Got it. All right. This is going to take a lot of practice, Roseanne. Thank you so, so much for joining us. I'm going to keep working on this. And, of course, patterns are available at your at the shop. At your store, Wool Boutique in Fushuk. That's right. Perfect. Thank you so much, Roseanne. Thank you. Right now, over to the kitchen to wrap up for today's show with the mad cast of Mad Buddies. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.